Hey there, look at what I got. More studio gear. This is the Two Notes Torpedo Captor, and we're gonna check it out together. This is arguably the most useful $249 that uh, I think I have, at least certainly that I've spent in a long time. Uh, if you are into recording, particularly home recording, this is a load box. It is an attenuator. It's a speaker simulator. Uh, a little bit more on that here in just a bit. Uh, and of course, it's also a DI. You know, I it it's it, it checks a lot of boxes. Two notes, of course, make make lots of really really cool high end uh, studio gear, and you know the you know this is kind of this is the most affordable way to get into some of the uh, you know some of the 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 other items. Uh, the other things that they sell, like the rack mount gear, so you know the torpedo live. Uh, you know, I would really, really like to like to have had one of those, but you know that's four times the price of one of these. Uh, you know, and uh, the, you know, like I said, that you know it's it's really, really good stuff. But it's also really, really high end. This is designed, however, to have a lot of those same features that some of those higher end uh, pieces of gear have, but you know, at a little bit more. Uh, accessible of a price tag. So, uh, this you guys are checking this out with me for the first time. So let's get this thing out of the box. Let's see what all's in it, and uh, we'll go from there. Torpedo Captor Quick Start Guide. There's a very, very important piece of information on here, and I'm going to share that here in just a little bit. I want to leave that surprise for. A little bit later in the video. And we got some styrofoam. And some more styrofoam. And some plastic. And we're done. There. It's a beautiful thing. So, that is... What we got, you know, actually a relatively small device. You know, it's uh, like I said, it's an attenuator. Uh, it's a load box. Uh, speaker sim and a DI. Now, what I am noticing looks like there's an input for a power supply, and I don't have a. It didn't come with a power supply. Interesting. That was everything that was in the box. No power supply though. It says it's just a 9 volt. I will read up on that. And uh, most of it's just a 9 volt. That's that's not a problem. That I can swing. Doesn't say the milliamps anywhere if that is the case. All right. So, you know, the way uh, that you would use this, the way that I'm going to use this, uh, I'm going to use this in place of a speaker cabinet, uh, essentially for silent recording. So, you know, from the speaker out on my amplifier, and as you can see, I am... Uh, going to use my Panama Shaman 20 head. Uh, so we're going to go from the speaker out on that guy. The uh, This is an 8 ohm. These come in 4, 8, and 16 ohm versions, by the way. Uh, I went with the 8 ohm just because most of my amps have an 8 ohm out. And uh, you know most of my cabs have an 8 ohm capability should I decide to use it as an attenuator. And uh, you know 8 ohm just made the most sense for me. So, you know, But they do make a 4 and a 16 for those that would be a better fit. So from the speaker out, we're going to go into uh, the input here, and then we are going to go from the speaker out, uh, and it'll attenuate at minus 20 dB, it should I go from the speaker out into a speaker cab, or I can go from the DI, and uh, you know the D, this is going to go from here into my interface, and uh, we are going to record silently. Basically, is exactly how this is going to work few other features that are on this thing you know it does have an output level so you can control the level how much uh, you know how much output is going into uh, whatever the source might be uh, has a ground lift on a push push type of button it has a 180 degree phase shifter so if something's out of phase uh, you can flip that button and flip it right way 
And uh, the speaker sim option itself, it has one built, on, built in for guitar, one for bass, or you have the option to turn it off. So I'm gonna get it all hooked up and uh, plugged into the interface and uh, grab a guitar and plug in and let's see how it all sounds. Okay, so I now have everything uh, plugged in and hooked up correctly. Uh, took me a minute to kind of figure out the uh, figure out what a couple of things did, namely the uh, the DI. So I went ahead and plugged a nine volt into it. Uh, the DI is uh, if you're going to be using the you know the the uh, the DI feature on it, that's what you need the. Uh, plug the 9 volt in because what that does is that sends 48 volt phantom power into it. Alrighty, I uh, tested a few things, just checked a couple of levels, make sure everything is the way that it should be. This is how it all sounds. I'm on the game channel. This is how it sounds with the uh, speaker sim turned off. like an amp without a speaker going without a speaker sim let's turn it on turn on the speakers all right this is the captor with the speaker sim on now it sounds like a tube amp That's pretty cool. Okay, one more experiment. I am going to turn the speaker sim back off. Actually, just for kicks, let's see how it's let's see how it sounds through the base the base cab sim. Designed for bass. Okay, one final experiment here. I am going to turn this. I have turned the speaker sim back off, and uh, we are going to try this. We're going to see how it sounds with uh, virtual 
uh, virtual IRs. So in other words, virtual cabinets. Uh, and in this case, I am going to use a couple of different cabinets from the Two Notes uh, Wall of Sound suite. And uh, if you're not familiar with the Wall of Sound, uh, it is a library of cab IRs that, uh, that Two Notes, uh, you can buy the cabs individually or I watched, you know, I watched a lot of videos. I admit I'm a little bit late to the party uh, when it comes to doing, uh, when it comes to demoing one of these. These have actually been out for a couple of years now. I've watched a lot of videos on this, and unfortunately, not a single one of them that I watched anyway mentioned that when you buy the Two Notes Captor, it actually comes with 16, and it says right here on the back of this start, uh, this uh, quick start guide, it says. The, two, the Torpedo Capper comes with 16 virtual cabinets usable with wall sound or any two notes hardware digital speaker sim. So, in other words, for buying the two notes captor, they are giving you 16 free cabinet IRs from the wall sound. So, let's check out a couple of these. These are two that I happen to already own. Uh, I'm going to uh, go in later and uh, select my other remaining 16 or uh, select my 16 free ones that I just got with buying the new Two Notes Captor. But uh, these are two that I already have. This is one that's basically a Marshall 1960 412 cabinet with, uh, loaded with uh, vintage 30s. <laughs> And this one here is the Mesa Boogie uh, Rectifier 412, the oversized 412, again loaded with uh, loaded with the Black Widow vintage 30s. That uh, I assume that that's what it's simulating anyway. Uh, the Black Widow vintage 30s are actually British-made vintage 30s that Celestian makes. They're slightly tweaked specifically for Mesa Boogie. Uh, so if you're familiar with the uh, the Rectifier 412 cabinets, it's one of the best sounding cabinets on the market. I use this IR all the time. Let's see what this one sounds like. So, pretty cool stuff. Again, a very, very, very useful $249. If you do any kind of home recording at all, this is the Torpedo Two Notes Captor is a must. Even if you don't use any of the IRs, even if you're just going straight into a hardware recorder. Uh, I is uh, If you watch this channel for a while, you know I often still use my Tascam 24-track uh, Porta Studio to record a lot of stuff. And... You know, this is another perfect solution. Uh, this will go straight into that again with the speaker simulator. Uh, that's you know that onboard speaker simulator is fantastic. I mean, absolutely killer. <laughs> uh, I wish you know I wish I had that speaker sim on everything. 
So thank you very much for taking the time to check out this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it informative. Uh, I certainly had a good time demoing this thing. This uh, was a, uh, a this is a lot of fun. Again, it's a very useful tool. Uh, please consider hitting the subscribe button to this channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit the bell. Don't forget to hit the like button or the dislike button if you didn't like it. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Links to all the gear used in this video will be down in the description. And last but not least, links to where you can uh, support this channel will also be down in the description. Uh, be it through views, be it through subscriptions, be it through uh, any of those links provided. Uh, all of the support that I get from this channel from my wonderful viewers is very very much appreciated and that's how i'm able to keep this thing going so thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video